Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to consume a web service in PHP. Uh, I mean RESTful web service. Uh, in previous video, I have shown you how to create your own REST web service. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to consume that web service. Um, see, when I say consuming a web service, a web service can be from anyone. It can be from Flickr, Google, Yahoo, or it can be anything. Anything like uh, getting weather data, or uh, it can be getting stock data anything like it doesn't matter if it is a restful web service the procedure is going to be same uh, now today i'm going to just touch the basic blocks of restful web service and if i have time i may move to next level but this is a basic idea guys this is a basic thing you need to understand and in my scenario my web service i mean this web service provider uh, will take input as book name and it will respond with price name so that's just a simple web service and this is my client here uh, I, I designed some simple user interface with HTML uh, my client will type user interface uh, sorry uh, a book name anything PHP Java or whatever it is and as soon as he click get price the request will send to the web service provider and the web service provider will return the book price of that particular book so this is about a uh, simple demonstration so let's get into code see when I say consuming a web service uh, there are few divided parts the first part is um, you kind of need to know what is the address of the particular resource so address is very very important right um, here address can be a URL uh, it must be a URL in my case it's very simple localhost slash rest slash java but uh, that just depends on your um, particular web service uh, Fl Flickr web services will have something like that Flickr slash com uh, sorry Flickr dot com slash service slash something like that and so get your URL and you kinda need to know the syntax of URL uh, in my case it's very simple like uh, here uh, localhost slash rest slash uh, my book name so here the, the book name will be provided by my client user so it's going to be dynamic right so i'm going to type that name name variable that is retrieved from html form here so whatever the user types here the url will be localhost slash rest slash whatever the user types so that's all about my url i mean that's all about my resource address now the second thing is I need to send a request to the resource just now I said uh, this is the resource address right now we have to send in a request to the resource saying that hey I need the price of that particular book now when I say sending a request it's not like uh, go and type in URL and you will get the data it's not like that you need to send a request via program and it can be done by using CURL curl uh, curl is an inbuilt library in PHP and it will send a request HTTP request from your program to any other server or program it doesn't matter so so that you need to understand some a little bit about curl guys because it's uh, it's a core point of rest here um, so uh, I'm going to initialize curl library here sorry INIT and you need to pass the URL that is uh, server server or program and you can store reference here client and one more thing guys before actually using curl in your program uh, make sure that you you have PHP extension set to PHP curl so if you notice here PHP curl is clicked here and in, in your case if it's not click uh, make sure that it's clicked because I if that without that it won't work here and the second thing is uh, as soon as you initiated the curl here uh, you need to send a request to that and you have to get a response from that so this can be done using curl exe cpro uh, function and you kinda need to pass that client address and as usual you're going to store some response here and when I say store response, the response can be in any format. Uh, it can be in XML format or in JSON format. But it doesn't matter which format it is. Uh, you just kind of need to uh, fetch a particular function for the decoder. 
uh, in PHP if it is uh, in JSON format you can use JSON decode function which I'm going to explain in a little moment later so this is about sending a request and then getting response to the resource getting response from the resource sorry guys kind of mistake here and before doing that uh, there's something you need to know about curl curl by default won't allow you to save a uh, response in a separate variable like it will allow you to directly print to the browser but it won't allow you to store in a separate variable like i'm done here so if you want to store to a separate variable you have to set a separate option for that so you can set that option by using curl set option uh, three variables the first one is the reference and then curl opt return transfer so, so you can find lot of options uh, in php manual just refer to that side or etu warranty or yes sorry guys i'm kind of uh, poor at english so return transfer one so now that you have provided with an option to store response in a separate variable see the reason why i'm storing variable sorry storing response in separate variable because the response will be in json format uh, something like this i will show you in a minute wait response will be something like this guys oops yeah the response will be something like this like it's in json format so obviously you don't want to end up uh, with junk data on your client side so you need to decode it first so that's why i'm that's why i'm storing in a separate variable uh, yeah the last and final thing is you need to decode this uh, response json data see as i told you guys you can decode using a small function that is json decode you don't need to download any libraries any under APS for that it's in bolt json decode function and pass that response variable here so this is it guys uh, now you can uh, display whatever the user wants here J json has three objects status status message and data now i'm going to display only data echo result of data now let's see what will happen after decoding yep that's simply clear right if user types java 299 c 22348 yeah that's cool right so this is all guys this is all about how to consuming a web service and one final thing guys uh one of what we have done is we just use a get request here it's like after sending a request I mean when I say send request to resource it can be either get request or put request or post request or delete request something like that but what we have done here is we have just uh, used get request but I haven't shown you how to use post request post request is something like instead of getting data from the resource you are going to add something to the resource so that's about post request so if you want to implement post request in curl again it's very pretty much simple just follows the same syntax here i mean three variable syntax here but uh, here it will be something like this curl opt i think it's post and you need to store a data uh, which you want to send say for example if you want to send a book and book price to the user i mean to the resource you're going to uh, store data in json format and then you're going to send it to use client resource so this is all about post guys put three options i mean first one is um you can either get a response from the user sorry client oh i mean i'm sorry you can get a response from a web service or else you can post to the web service or you can delete from the web service uh, so these are the three different scenarios uh, working around the rest web service mm -hmm. um, delete also follows the pretty much same syntax uh, here you're going to use delete i don't remember the exact syntax but the format is kind of same here 
so this is all about web service guys if you are still facing any problems or if you are uh, kind of facing problem with my accent you can always comment here i will try to respond asap thanks